This is the solve walkthrough for Philip Newman's difference pair Sudoku. So in this Sudoku, we're going to place the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, column, and 3 by 3 region. We also have some white dots in the grid, and those white dots indicate that the two digits on either side of the dot, so for instance these two cells, have a difference, so subtraction, equal to the value in the dot. So this 8 tells you that whatever these two numbers are, they are 8 different from each other. If you subtract the smaller one from the bigger one, you get 8. Whatever these two numbers are, if you subtract the smaller one from the bigger one, you get 3, and so on. And the first thing I see here is that I do have some 8 difference dots. And there are only two digits in Sudoku, which uses the digits 1 through 9, that have a difference of 8. That's the numbers 1 and 9. And because we have a 1 in that top left box and a 9 in this bottom right box, we can immediately fill in the 1 and 9. So I see that that's part of this chain, and I'm going to see how long I can take that. So I have 9 and 1. 1 has a difference of 7 with the number 8. 8 differs by 6 from the number 2. 2 difference of 5 gives us 7, 7 difference of 4 gives us 3, 3 difference of 3 gives us 6, and this is the point where we have to stop because 6 can be 2 different from 2 different numbers, either 4 or 8. So I'm going to stop there. My next observation by Sudoku is that I now have two 9s in the grid, and they're both looking into this box, and they see these three cells and these three cells. That only leaves one position for 9 in that box, so I'm going to place my 9 there. Now I have this 6 looking into this box, and I can place a 6 here, and then these numbers have to be 4 and 5. The 9 I just placed is on a 1 difference dot, and 9 is 1 different from 8. 8 is 2 different from 6. 6 is 3 different from either 3 or 9, but because I already have a 9 in this region, I have to place a 3 here, and then 3 is 4 different from 7, and I'm going to mark in my remaining digits for this region, which are 2, 4, and 5. All right, now we're going to do the kind of parallel deductions at the bottom of the grid with this run. So 9, 7 difference gives us 2, 6 difference from 2 is 8, 5 difference from 8 is 3, 4 difference from 3 is 7, 3 difference from 7 is 4, and once again we have to stop here because this can be either 2 or 6. However, because I've already filled in this box, I actually do get to resolve this. 4 is either 2 different from 2 or 2 different from 6, but I have a 6 in the column now, so that must be 2. I still think I have to stop here because this could still either be 1 or 3, which is 2 different from 2. Now I have two ones here looking into this box, which places a one there. And again, this, is, this very much mirrors what I had up here, so we're going to run through these deductions exactly how we ran through these ones. One is one off from two, two is two off from four, four is three off from either one or seven, but because there's a one in the box already, we have to place a seven, and seven is four off from three. And our three remaining digits to fill in are five, six, and eight. In this box, we need a 4, 5, and 6. The 4 can't go in those cells, so it goes there. And then there's our 5 and 6. And now, because I've placed this 4, I know that this digit has to be an 8, and this has to be a 7 or a 9. The next thing that stands out to me is that with what I've just placed in the grid, I now have a 4, 5 pair in row 2, and I also have a 5, 6 pair in row 8. So that leaves me only three different digits that I need to place here, 1, 7, and 9. Unfortunately, I can't resolve any of those yet, so I'm going to leave that on the table for now. Oh, wait a second. So that actually gives me a 7, 9 pair. So these digits are the remaining digits in the column, which are 3, 5, and 6. That's not a 3 and that's not a 6, but still that doesn't quite do it. Um, let's look at what we have here. So if this number is a 7, to go three different from that, we would have to place a four. And, it, and if this is a nine, to go three different from that, we'd have to place a six. Now this is an even number, so the numbers it's, um, it's two away from will also be even. You take an even number, you add two to it, you'll get another even number back. So these are two, four, six, or eight. However, we have an eight in the box and a two and a four in the row. Therefore, this is six. That makes this a four, seven, and because that's not a 6, the 6 in this column is now here. This 7 makes this a 9. And that can't be a 6. 
And so one difference from six is either five or seven, because there's a seven in the box already, we're going to place a five. That makes this a six and makes this an eight by Sudoku, and then our five in this box goes here. Now these digits are going to be two, eight, and nine. Nine can't go in this region since there's already a nine, so the nine goes there. There's an eight in this row, so we're going to place the two there and the eight there. This five makes this a four, and we can finish this box by Sudoku. The only remaining digit in row one is a three, and the only remaining digit in row three is a four. These digits are one and two. This is five and six. Our digits that need to go in this column are going to be two and three. Our digits in this column are seven and eight, which we can resolve thanks to the seven there. These digits have to be 1, 8, and 9 in some order, and that can't be an 8, that can't be a 1. All right, now if we look over here and do kind of the, the parallel of what we did over here, this is 1 or 3. If it's 1, though, then we increase it by 3 to get 4, and there is already a 4 in the row, so this can't be 1, it must be 3, and then we increase that by 3 to get 6. And then we either increase or decrease that by 2 to get 4 or 8, but because there's an 8 in row 4 already, this must be a 4. And then this has to be either a 3 or a 5 to be 1 different from 4, but there's already a 3 in the box, therefore it's a 5. A little more Sudoku cleanup here. That can't be a 5 or a 9, so it's a 1. That's now a 9, an 8, a 1, and a 7, and we just have this one remaining box to fill in. We need a 1, 4, and 5 in this column, so this is a 4, 1, and 5 in that order by Sudoku, just looking across the rows. These cells have to contain 2, 8, and 9 in this order. And these cells have to be 2, 3, and... Whoop, not 2, 3, and 7. Um, they have to be 3, 6, and 7. And that's how you solve Philip's difference pairs.